What is happening YouTube? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we are back with Horizon Zero Dawn. Thank you for all the love you've shown the series so far. It is going really well, I'm really enjoying it. And we are cracking on with some more main quests today. So if you watch the bonus episodes you'll know that there is footage out there of the wider world. Um, for those of you that were interested in that. Um, the main series is purely for watching the story playthrough. Um, I'm upgrading my gear off camera or in those bonus episodes so that you guys that want the story before Forbidden West comes out you don't have to put up with the um, side quest stuff. The game looks absolutely fabulous, I'm loving every minute in this. I've played quite a lot off camera recently. The main reason for that being just to get the collectibles, upgrade the gear. We're pushing on with the story today. We're going to do errands part of the side quest. God, that scenery looks absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Love that. See the snap moths down there moving in the distance. Fantastic. We've got tramplers coming up ahead. I've been enjoying my time with this game. There's a lot of stuff still to do. Um, there's going to be massive episodes on side quests I'm going to have to do. Um, because I'm just not going to get everything covered on camera. Like I say, I really want to get the story done as a main series for you guys to watch. And then there will be additional content that I'll upload, which will be some of my side quests in. And the whole Hunter's Lodge story I'll be doing. I've done a few of the trials now. They are really good fun. Um, I thoroughly recommend that if you are playing this game along with me that you do the Hunter's Trials. I've got all of them except for the very last one because I need an override ability that I don't have yet, the ability to override Ravagers. Um, I've only done two cauldrons so far I think. So I've got all that to look forward to do as well. Here we've got a herd of chargers that are not going to be impressed with me just dancing and going stuff. Quickly. some of this off camera today, again, purely for the upgrades. You can tell by the level of damage um, and attributes in green in the centre there, you can see the upgrades that I've been uh, focusing on. As tempting as it is to take that uh, flaming canister launcher and fire it off, uh, it was chargers yeah, in the distance. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> yeah, this series has been good fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I've seen a lot of things. I'm in a lucky position where I have access to the. Xbox Games Pass uh, through the PC 
so there's a lot of things on there that I've seen that I want to play. Obviously, Forbidden West's coming out soon. That's the priority. That's why we're doing main quest stuff today. We are going to be trying to get that finished this week. If possible. I don't know how much story there is to go. I've never been this far in the game before, so yeah, this is fun. So this is another area of the game that I've never seen. I've never been to Pitchcliff before. Um, this must be Pitchcliff. Marad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. So this is the first time I've seen the Osaram in kind of a native setting, which is cool. Here we've got the. The officer on guard there. Cold as winter steel today. Why is it one in the car? Because I went in first, but uh, yeah, it's grown up. No sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Yeah, I have a funny feeling that this isn't going to do too well. I'm quickly going to see if he has anything that's any different. No. I've got most of the armor sets now, obviously. The armor breaker and the silent hunter. Um, it's purely shards that's done me out of them, but I don't anticipate needing them anytime soon. I've done enough upgrading and modifying the armor sets I've got, so I should be okay for this episode. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Nice. Okay. We'll do our bloodhound thing. Here we go. Oh dear. I hate when a lead dies on you like that. Has to be Murad's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. My men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. I feel sorry for the agent. I mean, I know... Everyone that's watching this is going to say, hey, Blizzard Raptor, he knew the risks. Yeah, he did know the risks, but... And maybe if he'd been better at his job, he wouldn't have been seen. But as a plot device, dying agent draws map in his old blood. Good play. And well done to Eloy for figuring out exactly what that meant, because that could have been anything. He drew a circle, a squiggly line with an arrow, and then a cross. That literally could be anything. Could have been writing tox for toxic damage for all you know. Um, but yeah, we will push on up the path here. Uh, compared to earlier in the game, I am much better off in terms of goods that I need. So that's why the wildlife is getting away scot free. I don't need to be shooting as much of them, and to be fair, I have picked up some more abilities. Look here for you, um, including Expert Carver. So I have more chance to get skins, bones, the lenses, and the hearts from the machines and from the animals. So if I did really need something for an upgrade, I can just I can get it now. Um, I don't need to take random shots in the hope. Am I going through that? I am. Okay, well. Give you a chance to see some of my upgraded arsenal. Um, it's down. So we've got a couple of watchers that I can see here. One there. One there. Not two. 
Don't need anything from the Flash to take out the Watchers, as you remember. Just get him over. They come out with the old silent strike. Boop -a -doop -a -boo. And good night. Sounds quite sad when you hit him like that. And his mate's coming over with his big brother. We'll take the mate out first. I think what we'll do here is... Let me let you see the machine up close here. You can see the jaw working. And we'll try and he didn't do as much damage to me as he normally does, that's because I have the melee armour and I've upgraded the melee resistance on this armour. It's not trivialising the encounter by any means. It, it is really handy to have that. Um, it makes life so much easier if you can minimise the damage that the machines do up close. Um, which is why I'd encourage you, a quick tip, if you are going to upgrade using the weaves, what I would do is look for weaves like this that have multiple effects. They are much rarer than their tier, but for example, there's one there. Um, freeze Tear and Corruption. If you put that single Freeze Coil onto the Warbow, you will upgrade the damage of all three arrows. Um, and the weaves that I have in the set that I'm wearing just now, the Nora Brave, they protect Aloy against both melee and ranged attacks. So as well as boosting our melee resistance, which means I'm taking less damage anyway, I have boosted her ranged attack resistance as well. So, one of these two's getting hit in the coil. I'll wait until his back's turned. They know where I am. You know where I am, everyone. Then. Uh, a Up we get. Down you go. Again. Long legs are a good machine type to hunt if you're looking for multiple resources. Long legs carry echo shells and sparkers, so you can get the amount of you, you can get the amount of you can get a good amount of uh, items to upgrade or max out your ammo types. Echo shells, with the tear blast arrows, and Sparkers for your traps and your trip wires and your shock arrows. Um, it's well worth hunting them for that. If you look for machines with multiple resources, some of them are bigger machines. Ramplers, for example, you can get multiple types of resource from them. Stormbird site up here somewhere. To stay on the path. Stormbird itself is up there. I figured out an easier way to take out one of them. I think in the bonus episode you actually see me fight one uh, and it takes forever to kill him. Um, it is a faster way, I'm sure. The first one is to take out the lightning gun so that he has to come down to your level. 
and he hovers closer to the ground after that and then I think if I was if I had used uh, the rope caster to tie him down I would have been able to get much more damage into him in a short space of time whereas he took all of my ammo types just about I think I had to hit him with everything but the size of his health um, was one of the tougher machine types so if you are going to hunt a storm bird bring plenty of ammo get plenty of carrying capacity upgrades bring the rope caster use the tear blast arrows to knock off the lightning gun and then tie him to the ground we're going to sneak in here there we go Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. So... I quite like the quiet approach here. Um... Creep forward slowly. Who do I break the chain? If I could get the Ravager free without destroying any of its parts, that would be very, very helpful. The idea here is I want to use the Ravager to do as much damage as possible. I just come up the strange step. This one's obsessed with me. But it'll just take him out anyway. So there we have Ravager down. And also I think all of Eren's men and Eren are dead. It's a girl! She's armed! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, and that's not good either. So, this is not going great so far. I have completely blown this. Um, yeah, don't know what I'm going to do now. <laughs> don't know why Erin and all his men are dead dead. How they're able to just dodge my arrows like that. Well, 
Oh yeah, Erin's back in the fight. Good time. I see what they're Let's using jump. now. I see what they're using. I see how they found it so easy to take me out. Hit them till they can't hit back. Because they are using. They are using this weapon. Well, maybe not that exact type, but they're using the Rattler, which with hindsight would have been a better option for this probably. As you can see, not the most accurate weapon under the sun, but if you get close enough, it does a decent amount of damage. To, to be honest, the Rattler is not one of my favourite weapons. I'll give you this. Um, I've only got it for completionist bait, really. says you gotta eat dirt. Smoothest gameplay today, folks. But This is not 
not going well at all. Um, struggling to get enough damage into this guy, um, which is weird because I've not had trouble so far. There's some must be in there. We have to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Durval try to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. I thought I could take him out. <laughs> no. Now listen. Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Oh, Ursa. No, no. Please. I won't let you down. I promise. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I genuinely wasn't. I thought after we'd figured out she wasn't dead that we'd... Parent. I'm so sorry. You've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll... Uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. It's priorities and all that. Huh? What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? That's what I even want to know. It's such a strange device. It's beautifully crafted. What happens when I turn it on? I think I've got it working. There. Now, say something. Both of you. Durval's records, maybe. Just notes about crafting. And a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I bet we find her vault too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. Damn. I 
wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting that, genuinely wasn't expecting um death. You know what, I'm not gonna bother. I don't have the resources. I'm already gonna have to try and find loot on the way back. Um, I'm gonna be jogging through this next part. I need to try and find uh, herbs on the way back so that I've got access to I need to try and find herbs on the way back so that I don't die outright as soon as I get back here. Um, fill up the medicine pouch and try and craft some more potions as well. I'll need to try and kill wildlife on the way. That gives us a quick few minutes to discuss what just happened. I mean, I know, I know Ersa wasn't introduced as as a sort of character we needed to care about. She wasn't a main character that we'd gotten to know. We only really got to know her through Erend. Erend was... Through Erend we got to know that Ersa was the serious one. And Erend was the kind of slacker he lived off the back of his big sister. Not that he didn't carry his own weight, but he hadn't really done anything for himself. He was quite happy to let his sister decide the path that his life was going to take. Um, whether you agree with that or not, I suppose that will determine how good the story is. In fact, engaging with it in any way, whether you agree with it or not. And we'll determine how good the story has been. Uh, but now, with Erin, with Ersa being suspected dead in the first place, it means that Erin was captain of the vanguard anyway. And now that we've confirmed that Ersa's definitely dead, then Erin is permanently captain of the vanguard. So. Either way, he's going to have to mature. Um, his days of drinking and just... These are helpful. ...cruising through Better life though. are pretty much finished. He now has responsibility for a lot of men and for the security of a bag. So there's character development there. It'd be interesting to see how Erin handles that. Um, right now he's being driven by the need to avenge his sister's death. But I don't think that's going to sustain you in the long term. Sooner or later he's going to have to decide if that's what he wants, or if he goes back to homeland. And I don't know what happens, I just think that if you're mapping out that character's sort of arc, there's two ways that he can go. He can step up, or he can finish his hunt for revenge and then disappear, fade into the background. Um, it is very, you know, the, the development of these characters is very well written. We've already seen Aloy's arc is pretty good. She's gradually become a, like most open world game heroes or heroines, she's become a troubleshooter at the minute. Running from problem to problem to help people while trying to complete her own quest. Um, she wants revenge for Rost, and she wants revenge for the people who died, the, the other Nora kids who were trying to become Braves. Right, we 
we've got some health in the pouch now, let's... Let's fast travel back to Meridian. So yeah, good good plot points so far. The story's, the story's rolling along. I feel like this bit's gathering pace quite nicely. I feel the, the story's urging me on here to finish, to, well, to finish this part of it anyway. Um, now that we've found Ursa and we've learned of this plot, I feel like we're kind of like, oh no, we have to really get back to Meridian. We've got to save Avad, you know. Avad's probably the best thing that's happened to the Karja and by extension the other tribes living in this region. It's extended the hand of peace to Nora. He has allied with the Osaram. He's opened trade links with the Banuk. And yeah, he's, he's doing good things for people. Um, Realising, of course, that there is strength in peace as well as strength in martial might. You can tell that the Osaram army uh, is tough. You really can. Fighting those guys was no joke. Um, you can also see that the Karja are no slouches either. Uh, and so combining those two really will, you know, help maintain peace. It'd be nice for all of them to welcome. You know, the Banuk and the, the Nora I've sent seem a messenger to be to pretty close. To let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Ah, uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. We're gonna have to give that moment a moment. I'll be back in quickly, just two minutes.
So we're back, sorry about that. Um, let's resume the dialogue. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Derval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. I had to think about that dialogue choice there because I couldn't decide in that moment what Aloy would say. I was so tempted to go for the logical choice. But I don't want to antagonise a vibe because he is a nice guy, so... In the end, I thought that the go with your feelings one was the easiest option to choose. So now we're playing catch up. Derval's plan is already obviously in motion, and we are chasing her tail. Like, you know, we're chasing him. We're, we're playing catch up to him. He knows what he's going to do. There's the hunting for the lodge, which we will come back to in another bonus episode. Uh, we'll do the Hunter's Lodge content. There's lots for us to do though, genuinely. This is a big game. Um, I want the story finished before I do anything else. And actually, that sounds wrong. This is the place! You home, Derval? I got a surprise for you! Some strength. For us. Is it a bomb? It's Doesn't a bomb, look too all right. big. Well, big enough to kill us. All right, I'll shut up. Blaze, it must be leaking from something upstairs. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Around in my way there. If that That's bomb a goes lot off, of blaze. The blaze will ignite in a fire. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's there's gotta be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow. The blast will be much smaller. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. Uh, so, is, uh, is, is that thing going to go off? Aha, uh -huh. here we go. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force, I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <laughs> nice. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is over. Durval said he'd make a Vogue watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. 
Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. Carefully. So we're obviously not getting in the front door. Um, I don't know what they think I'm gonna be able to do from here. Can I get around there? What caused this? I think. I cannot. Um, okay. <laughs> this is going to be another one of those frustrating moments where eventually I realise that with the click of a button. Ah, uh, there we go. Just a bit of blaze in them. Was anyone hurt in that blast? So that, that part seemed a little disappointingly easy to stop what is a critical plot point just felt a bit too, a bit too easy. The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Okay. Yeah, he did. Durval did find a way into the palace. I mean, this looks like a tough climb, but to be fair, Aloy and Nora are used to making climbs and jumps like this. Their their gear, their their culture, their way of life, how they interact with the environment, all fits this. This doesn't seem very Osaram to me. Wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Quick, Cart. Yeah, that's not going to happen for you, mate. It was pretty quick. Two down. And we'll gather some magic mushrooms just to top up our potential health. Have a quick check and see if there's any more. Doesn't look like it, but cool. Up we go. Not really much time for subtlety now. I really need to get to... Bad. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner!
always helpful when you read the instructions. This will come in handy. Yeah, it will. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Here, the girl! Can we finish this? That's really annoying. Why does a bard always have his ladies do the fighting? You'll have to do better than that, Red. Ah, like that. Good Osaram Tenko will tell you. Always have a third plan. If your plan is Glint Hawks, then I'm laughing because Glint Hawks are basically polyester tracksuits. Honestly. Come on. This is this is shell suit territory. These things are not. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Good luck with that. for me to break. <sighs> Looks like you might. Gonna quickly switch over to my uh out. that they do very little damage to me now from the, the ice. From the ice attacks, of course, if that had hit, that would have been a bit more... Guys are getting a bit too cocky now. Well, enough of his crap. I'll do. What else have we got? Ah, still got you. You're wondering why the ice attacks are doing so little damage to me. Combining the ice hunter gear with the ice resistance uh, weaves that are put on it means that these things are not able to tickle me with the ice attacks. Nothing is happening, basically. I'm taking a little damage. But it's nothing that I can survive quite easily. The most dangerous part of this fight was with the uh, their valves. Yeah, that 
went well did well, didn't it? That was pretty easy. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Well done, Aaron. Well done. Jamie didn't have a fourth one. It's pretty good, he had one, two, three. The shadows are getting long. So. I might as well do all of these. Aloy. To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel. How I felt about her. I think Ursa would have made a good queen. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Osaron devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Ooh. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. <laughs> you are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. And I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Now that is awesome. 
Um, I'd quite like to check in with her Val, just because I'd like to rub his face in. Um, but, like beating him. And I'm pretty sure Eli would too. But yeah, quickly just to show you, you see the benefit of adding the frost resistance on this is 105. Um, which means I take minimal damage from frost attacks. Uh, useful! Very, 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 very useful. Um, I'm surprised I take any damage to be honest, but I suppose they had to make it fair somehow. Never catch me it is hard, and if you grind up enough a weeds of your time, Outlander? to max out the, the damage resistance, you shouldn't be able to go through the game on god mode. But yeah, if you are going to play this through, consider uh, not putting any weaves in your armour until you have the, uh, the, the Tinker. Set up. Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, I'm busy. Yeah, 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 you're busy. That's one. In a way, I'm surprised that the cells can hold them because. They are old cells that were meant for the the captive sacrifices for the Sun King, um, the Mad Sun King Jaran. Everyone needs so all those cells would have held people who were basically going to Let's be released into the Sun Ring to die. Um, which, if 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 Ad isn't using them, I'd have thought they'd have been left to disrepair, and I'd have also thought that someone with the Val's uh, skills would be able to get his way out of since they weren't being properly looked after. But apparently the new Sun King needs a dungeon, so they've been well looked after. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <sighs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and... We'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean... Less chit-chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. <laughs> Yeah. So that's on the wrong way. 
so that wraps up Erin's part of the main story. As you can see, if we go into quests and main, all of Erin's stuff is no longer there. Um, I've got a long way to go before this game is near finished. However, for now, that is going to be time for another episode. We have done really well today. We have wrapped up one of the main plot points of the game. We've seen Aloy go out of her way to help her friends. We've seen how strong and confident she is when she faced down Derval. She did it in a way that I think Rost would have been proud of. Um, so although she jokes with Erin there at the end about being older, she is very much a wise head on young shoulders, thanks to Ross, and also probably thanks to the device on her ear. I think the focus has shown her a lot of what the world could be like. Um, I'm going to quickly grab low profile while I'm talking. So we wrap up that chapter. Expect this week to wrap up the rest of the main story. I don't think it's any secret that I'm enjoying this game. I don't want it to end, but it is what it is. Everything has to come to an end sometime, and we'll see the second part of Aloy's story this month as well. For those of you that have enjoyed this, I'm sure you'll do the usual. Hit the like button on the video and leave a comment even if it's just hi hello this is what i think um, if you look back at one of the earlier videos i got a really nice comment from a user who wanted to just let me know how they felt about the game their own experience playing it and i like that um i like being in a position where the channel is growing and I have time to talk to other people so yeah if you want to leave a comment go ahead leave a comment um, I'm more than happy to reply and to have a bit of dialogue uh, and the last thing you could do is subscribe um, help the channel grow help YouTube pick me out of the wilderness and put me up there when people are looking for gaming content to watch and with that being said, you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Take care, be kind to each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.